So to get back into basic workflow flow in your palette is getting fairly organized and you have most of the colors you need to have perhaps a fairly good roughed out sketch of whatever work you're working on. Um, by far the keys that I use the most are simply the key to get into the freehand drawing mode, which uh, I have set to D, um, because like I said, I'm used to programs like Deluxe Paint and ProMotion. Uh, and the color picker, which uh, I think the default is still the uh, comma key. Uh, so, another, as I had mentioned uh, early on in the introduction to ProMotion, you want to learn to not have to leave or uh, move your mouse pointer away from the art you're actually working on. Uh, it just wastes time finding the right tool and getting back to where you, where you left off. So, it's usually much faster, for instance, if I were working on the forehead here, and you can see how this is a straight line going down. If I wanted to uh, sort of anti-alias that a bit more to give his forehead a more natural slope, then it's much faster for me to pick one of these other skin tones that are all over the place here, right near where I am, than to go down here and guess which color in the palette that might be. Uh, so that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. You can very, very quickly um, simply pick colors you need, like bring this black down here, anti-alias into the black and the gray. Um, it's very, very fast workflow. Just comma to pick the new color, click on the color, it automatically brings you back to the uh, default drawing tool, and uh, you just keep clicking away and drawing, and when you need a new color, click comma again, and you've got your new color, and you keep working. And it's, it just saves you so much time.